it's time to stop sleeping on the man. Like, there's a lot of people are, I feel like there's sort of this like underground sentiment in the Alabama Smash scene where it's like, okay, like, Virgil's top, is like top one right now, but then like Tavares is gonna have like, because yeah, Tavares, because Tavares has just has just been like the best the player one period since like so, Smash Four, so long in this region. But I mean, there's a looking good right now, especially at this tournament here and, and any others. Like, and we'll have but, to see how he looks in the set though. He's still got work to do. Losers mm -hmm. finals, game one here. Serves, serves the needle. And Thurzel finally found, uh, found his way in and gets that back here. Gets another back here, and Thurzel has no jump and will just have to eat that stock. Zenito off to a really great start, still at 25%, and still cooking. Uh, and, and with stocks like those, I feel like there's just got to be one or two of them in this matchup. Like, Min Min, like, yep. like is inevitably going to have to be reminded, like, that these are situations that exist, how to play around them. So those are definitely going to be ones for the adaptation. Yeah, and Zenito doing a really good job of just avoiding every single Zerzel, uh, Zerzel edge guard option by just going as low as he possibly can and just up being right back to ledge. Doesn't even take too much from it. Um, just whips that ram ram. Sunido looking to really ride this momentum too, because like I, I feel it's interesting. Sunido versus like Dazo, oh, which is like I, which just, oh wow, that just took the stock. Yeah, and seriously, like this, this is so different from the leads that Sunido had in that previous set, because like. In these games, these the stocks are actually just flying. Like against against Jazo, it was like I'm gonna get the stock lead. I'm gonna like get on these platforms, get under the platforms, do anything I can to keep myself from dying. And then in here, it's like I have the lead. Like I'm going to like push it right now while the Min, -min is desperate, while the Min, -min is trying to find the stocks, not allowed to play her game because it's like in a different way. It's like you're taking advantage of your lead. Exactly. So. And and honestly, it's like Sunido can't really find himself in a position where he can just like run around Min, -min because after a while, oh wow, just. Almost dies to that spring. It's like after a while you're gonna get pit and grab, you're gonna get hit by some like long lasting, long reaching option, and then and then like at, at pretty much any percent, like <laughs> really right now even, it's gonna put you off stage. So exactly. it's, it's it's better to, I think like Sneaker strategy is it's just better to go ahead and like like rip the band-aid off. Like just just run, run, run until you're able to take this. Definitely stage. another another spring. Three springs in a row. As one I don't know for him. Oh the meatball just was just was, but would have hit you. Oh, oh. Nito. Yeah, that's that's yeah, definitely that's gonna be it, it for Min Min too. As yeah, Zerzel gonna drop that first game and I mean in convincing fashion from Sunido, barely like two minutes and twenty seconds in that one. Got the Goku versus Deku matchup going on. <laughs> Overweight true! Yes. I didn't even notice that, that's so funny. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. Sunido We know what they're listening to, come on. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean I guess Sunido's answering the question though, who beats Goku? It's him. Dude, with with prep time. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic with prep time? Sonic know. with prep time? Isn't, isn't, isn't the man. meme Batman with prep time? Isn't that like the yeah, thing? Yeah. Like Batman beats Batman, everyone with Batman prep time? Batman with prep time? That's, yeah. a, that's a dangerous dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. But, yeah, I mean, anime matchups, I guess, aside, in general, uh, this matchup definitely looking thoroughly in, in Sinido's favor, at least so far. But I have to say, I've commentated a Zerzel Sinido set or two in my time. And this is uh, this is typically how they start. Like, like and that's why I was kind of saying, like, I feel like there's got to be a stock or two where Zerzel just, just gets ran over until like he can start adapting, start stuffing out those approaches, really like having a say so in the matter. Definitely. Like honestly, and it looks like Zerzel was trying to get his say so. He had Sunido on ledge for a second, gets caught by that spring, still in a tough spot. Has Sunido. Kind of yeah, we're back there later there. Yeah. <laughs> And Spring for Sonic is such a valuable asset in this matchup. Like, just being able, like, even if you don't kill them in, like, the Switch, he has proven he can do, like, that last stock in the, uh, in the previous game. But, like, you're, you're, like, tacking on free damage on this character, which is so valuable because there's so few intervals where you get to hit Min Min already. Like, being able to hit her and knock her off stage and then grab an extra, like, 3 4% per Spring is it's nice. Definitely. It's definitely oh, wow. a privilege not many characters. Take that first stock handily. Has them off. Thurzel has the needle off stage. Goes for the meatball, a good parry by Sunido. Yeah, that was actually right the same parry from Sunido. What a call out! Like it's one thing to call out someone's like defensive habits, like land on them, especially with Sonic and the character that can move around. But calling out someone's offensive habits like that when they have you in the corner, that makes a statement. Definitely. And Sunido has been doing a really, really good job of getting in here. He's just using that spin dash to get uh, to get in before uh, Zerzo can actually get those arms moving. Sanito's positioning is just god -like. like on, on the ledge, everything. Like he, he always. It, it feels like this guy, like he's not like a flow chart runner or anything, but it's like he knows exactly what to do when he sees it. Like, like given any situation with this character. Yeah. And 
Thurgood finally has a Ram Ram near off ledge. Has Neo in a rough spot. Tosses out the Mega Watt. He actually neutral get up through it. That's a yeah. that's a new one. Yeah, that, he, that's sort of bold. Yeah, sort of starts the animation during the tail end of it uh, using the invincibility. I, I've seen a lot of people try to do that and die. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Neo definitely uh, definitely on top of it. Just in the matchup, it's like, like yeah, it has definitely played against Zerzal a lot. Had a lot of mods to review. And. Forward and the cancel forward tilt, that was nice, because yeah, and Zerzel was trying to drift back as well, so he, I mean, he was probably dead anyway to the forward tilt, but that man teleported, like, yeah. just getting straight into that last stock. And should be a, wow, a back air oh, here, two back, back airs, airs. 54%. And, and I feel like, as Zerzel, like, unfortunately, like, you kind of just have to take that, because if, yeah. if you if you jump and get your jump red, that is far, far worse. Yeah, like, then you're, then you're going to catch that forward here, now you're dead. Yeah. But Zerzel still trying to slow it down here, so Nito just runs in with that forward air. Not really caring for Zerzel's pace, and also out more springs to make life a lot harder. So, you know, it's just looking like the king right now, dude. Like, it just ledge trapping him from off stage, like using that, those long lasting frames of the nair like, to grab that, that. It's just, it's looking insane. Yeah, and Zerzel really hasn't gotten much going with those. Yeah, grass. that's a dead min -min. Yep, that's it. Forward air takes it. So, Nito really, really easily taking game two here on PS3. This. This is how every single set with you guys starts. Like, it, it, it feels like Zerzel, like, really needs to have his back up against the wall to make this work. There's been so, the, I, the last time they played, reverse 3-0. The time before that, I, I, I think it was uh, it was a bit closer, but last time at least was a reverse 3-0 in, in favor of Zerzel. And in this exact same position, and then had to sort of rally himself and, really, and bring it back. So we'll be able to see if he's able to make the, the, uh, the lightning strike twice there. But uh, so far, I mean, like I said, Sunito just... Really, really looking poised to meet Omega in Grand Finals here for, really that, for that Georgia Grands. Yeah, it's Zerzel still trying to hold out for the homeland. But I mean, definitely a task uh, to sort of undergo here. Also a great start so far. He's been able to stuff out Sunito's approaches because he, like, he really likes to run over in the air with that spin dash, but Sunito gets right back in. Has Zerzel in a rough spot and he sends the arm the wrong way, won't get punished for it too bad. Better DI on that first back air this time, because even though that even though that wasn't like the two back airs last game wasn't a true combo, he didn't have like the best DI. Didn't quite drift as far away as he maybe should have during uh, when he had like an interval. But um, this time, not not take just not taking that extra. It's so valuable. Exactly. Turtle with the back throw finally get, finally had some sort of advantage, and we'll continue it. To go for the meatball, but Sanito just runs right through it. Yeah, that's so insane. You, again, using the neutral get up to just immune the arms and then actually like having uh, an opportunity to just go for the dash attack, right? A good spring from, uh, from Sanito again. Zerzel. Zerzel really hard committed to try and read like a full hop out of the corner there, but Sanito not going to give it to him. But, oh, Sin, but Zerzel will give, will give Sanito another neutral get up, which he's just been covering so well with these long lasting airs so far. But, uh,. Yeah, one, what's one more stock, you know? <laughs> exactly, what's one more stock where he just kind of times it perfectly? Finds his way right back on stage. Uh, let's see if Zerzel tries it again. And finally gets the Megawatt. He knows that he can't do that forever. I think uh, maybe a slight mix up on the timing there. Uh, like, because once once uh, Sinio saw that he had, like, Zerzel had the Megawatt out again, maybe got a little, uh, a little well, comfortable, figured place. it might be the same timing, but instead uh, got, got his new timing covered. So. Yeah, and Zerzo really trying to go more off stage here, not really electing to. Oh, that's gonna, yeah, he is oh, gonna wow, make it. Really close. Direction of his hair is just so good. <laughs> oh, the, oh, the, the spot good back yeah. from Zerzo, but I, even better spot dodge. I feel like the like Zerzo's pivot grabs are insane. But like then, like then people start punishing them, and it's like they they just don't start going through the same approaches. But I mean, still like this is like basically the first stock lead Zerzo had all set. So. I mean, Things definitely looking better here. My agenda is surely growing. It's looking, it's looking yeah. good. But I mean, I don't know. Sanito definitely trying to stop that one. Put that one to bed real quick here. Oh, with the the forward smash. Yeah, yeah, not gonna go to the nair to cover the forward smash. Just gonna go or, or to cover the neutral get up. Just gonna go to the forward smash and end the stock all together. Sanito definitely wants to just just absolutely just end this one right now. Definitely. Does Ooh, it? He gets the up tilt into the up air. Oh, missed the back air, but that would have been big damage. Yeah, because if you're Sanito here, if I'm Sanito here. I'm, Anyway, with my mental, I'm thinking about the last time when Back I got reverse Sunido. trio, and I just feel I gotta end this. Okay, oh, another still trying to get him trying to grab though. That air dodge in was really, really scary for. Oh, and he Zerzel. gave it. Yeah, he gave it to him again. A slight mix up on the timing, or maybe Sunido just getting antsy. But either way, not gonna be the end of the game just yet. 
Thurzel just barely holding on, and somehow it just feels like he's gonna take this one. I don't know. I, just another. My intuition is telling me. Oh, can't get that jet. Can't get that grab out in time, and that's really, really been killing Durzum all two set. Stage, two stage, two, three, three stage spikes. spikes. Oh, and the tether limit. The tether oh, limit. Oh my goodness. The three limit. Oh wow.